students this is lecture 4 unit number 2 modifying language with approximates and intensifiers now we have done approximates and intensifiers before let us revise them because we will require them to do the exercises that follow yes let us revise we use modal verbs plus be or verb plus ing in present continuous in situations which are certain or about which we are uncertain for example spread of corona virus can be restricted by practicing social distancing we are talking about now we are talking about a bit in the future yes it is an advice she could be resting that means in the present and present continuous she could be resting now so we use modal verb plus be or verb plus ing in present continuous all right and in past situations we use modal verb plus have plus past participles for example arjun was doing his homework yesterday yesterday means it is finished yesterday is finished and it is today and we are talking about an activity that finished yesterday that means the homework finished yesterday so we assume and we think that he might have finished it modal verb plus have plus past participle next sentence he crashed his bike into a tree now because the accident is finished it has it has finished happening it is an event in the past we say he could have injured himself badly that means modal verb plus have plus past participle so i'm sure you will not have a problem in using these the other thing that we learned was using approximates an amount of figure that is almost correct but it is not exact so a word which tells us that something is approximate we use words like around practically almost roughly just under just over about nearly etc so in your books you may get exact figures like 99 years old now this 99 year old could be a building a monument so if we write these approximate figures then we could describe them as around 100 years s is missing 100 years or you could also say a century old all right now for something which is 11 years old a building or a monument you could say just over 10 years or the building is over a decade old all right decade is how much 10 years the next sentence we have or the sorry the figure we have is 48 years old so a building a monument a sculpture all these things could be 48 years old then we can say that that particular building is just under 50 years or half a century old all right now in your book you had a figure 6 days a week now he does something 6 days in a week that means the person does that activity for nearly the entire week or nearly every day why you have 7 days in a week and the person does that activity for 7 for 6 days that means almost a week so for nearly every day or nearly for the entire week the person does that activity now we also had something for uh, about the time 725 728 349 or you can say even 358 then for such things we could use approximates as around about practically around you can use both here yes so this could be instead of 725 pm you could write 
practically around 7:30 pm about 7:30 pm around 7:30 pm or you could write around half past 7 in the evening about half past 7 in the evening or you could write practically around half past 7 in the evening so there are different ways in which we can approximate the exact figures all right now see in your book you had 102 cm tall so you can say approximately around almost 100 cm tall now remember in writing when we write cm it is it is used for both singular and plural but when we write in expanded form we have to write centimeters just like in your book you had one and a half meters tall but in your book you had you had only m but while writing for m we write centimeters for, for and for m we write meters for cm we write centimeters but please remember we cannot say a century tall yes you cannot use it for weight you cannot say a century in weight these are wrong yes we use century in buildings in monuments or in cricket we can say a century made by dhoni yes but you cannot say a century tall or century in weight we also use century for a period of time like we are in the 21st century all right we are in the year 2020 so this century began on january for the first or the first of january 2001 and it will end on 31st december 2100 or 2100 so for these we use century but for weight and if we are talking about height we cannot say century so please remember these tips when you are writing sentences in weight for example 11 kilograms you can say the person weighs over or around 10 kilos or 10 kilograms don't miss the s yes though in uh, in the abbreviated form we write k and g but when we write in the expanded form please remember to write s here also you need to remember you cannot say over a decade in kilograms for weight all right we do not use decade or century for weight or for height all right remember that 102 kilograms so you can say he weighs over a ton what is a ton a 100 kilos yes as we have seen earlier kg like centimeter and meters is both singular and plural in abbreviated form but when you write them in expanded form we write kilos or kilograms so remember these learn these so that whenever you have to use them in sentences you know how to write them in expanded form in abbreviated or in approximates yes now the fourth thing that we had learned in unit 1 and 2 was or were intensifiers we use intensifiers to strengthen the meaning of expressions and to show emphasis how much degree extent to what extent how much all right now common intensifiers that we have seen are or the ones we saw were absolutely completely extremely highly rather really so to totally utterly very and at all all right so when we use these intensifiers how do we use them she was so upset we can write she was upset but when we want to talk about 
how much upset or the degree of anger to the extent she was angry we can use so upset really upset extremely upset so these words are intensifiers he runs much faster than me that means a lot faster than me it is quite hot outside the exam was extremely difficult very difficult i am totally exhausted after the match that means i am really exhausted and because i am exhausted i might sleep like a log yes we have done similes right now page number 17 in your primary writing book you have this picture now we had completed a paragraph on this picture but now we are going to use this picture to do or to write a descriptive writing yes paragraph now we describe this picture and we need to describe them with approximates and intensifiers now when we describe a picture we need to answer some questions and what are these questions where who why what the feelings that the picture display, uh, displays or shows or reveals or depicts how how many and your opinion all right we have done this activity in the junior classes but now we are going to take picture description to a new level and we are going to scale it up and how are we going to scale it whenever we write or describe a picture we need to see certain things about a picture who are in the picture in this picture we have the boys so we need to take down notes about their age group they look like school going children where you can imagine where they are though nothing is in the picture but you could always give your opinion as to what you think where they are why are they here all right what have they been doing yes so the second point we have is match name of the sport yes and we can guess the 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 sport by the number of players so it could be football you could think of cricket any game you feel like all right because it is not specified here the vocabulary now whichever game you think it is what do we need to do write vocabulary for it collect vocabulary for it collect vocabulary because they must have worked hard trained hard a discipline they must have followed their routines yes think about that vocabulary you could use in picture description their emotions feelings before the game during the game after the match or the tournament or the competition and we can clearly see in the picture that, that they have won the competition or the tournament so they are extremely happy excited think of the words for that yes opinion in your opinion what is the importance of sports the qualities that it builds in a person or a sportsman you can use idioms like being nervous so when a person is nervous you have butterflies in the stomach i know you have learned these idioms so use them all ears yes the coach that means when the coach gave them advice they were all ears they were attentive they heard they listened they obeyed they applied all the advice of the coach during the match yes and then in the end the team came up trumps in the cup final yes that means came up trumps in the final the cup has been written there by mistake yes so it is the team came up trumps in the final match in the competition 
That means, what does it mean? The team came up trumps. That means it was an unexpected victory or success. You were not expecting, but it happened. And during the match, the children or the boys were full of beans. That means they exhibited a lot of energy. They gave their all. Yes? And in while writing, you can use your model verbs, certainty, uncertainty. How could you use them? About the boys, you could write, they could be what? Yes? The boys were what? They could be thinking something. They played really hard. All right? Think of some sentences for that. And the last one, in the past, because the match is finished, you could make sentences by using this pattern. Model verb plus have plus past participle. The boys must have. They must have done what? Trained hard followed a discipline, followed a strict diet. Yes, you can think of such sentences to write in this. Another thing, you can use intensifiers, extremely, really, all right? Extremely exhausted. They played extremely well. They really gave their all. They put in their best. All right? So think of these situations while writing. All right? Now, what is your homework? Describe the picture in your own words using the cues or hints that have been provided. You have to write it between 100 to 120 words. All right? And what are your cues and hints? They are in this picture. So go through these pictures and complete your picture description. Thank you.